like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell them we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars. Cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah. Doing our best. But you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair, a stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> That strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented and falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? What a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here. They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. You feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world! You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. It saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. 
That won't be pretty. A sink nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body, it's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. So sorry. Was it me? Was it me? It was that voice, Juno? She took hold of me. She made me. Speaker. Sean, it's William. Is everything taken care of? Oh, well, hello to you, too. For Christ's sakes, man, have some class. All right, calm down. Oh, that's rich. Yeah, Lucy's dead, and you want me to act like it's Easter Sunday, do you? How's Desmond, anyway, giving in? That's enough, Sean. What if he's a Templar, Bill? Eh? What if he's been programmed? It's happened before. No, not Desmond. Right. You would say that. Sean. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose to discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle, a sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. 
Masyaf has not been home to the assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me? Or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon.
Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Ah, oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools.
assassin must not get his hands on that book. When we reach Leandros, we will escort him out of the village. You stay behind and make sure we're not followed. None of you leave until the assassin is dead. Do you understand? Signomi, Kirillo. But he seems to have found us. Panic! Panic! 